Hi guys, today is Sunday, October 18. It's getting kind of late in the day, it's almost 2 o'clock. I've done absolutely squat today because I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, but there are sort of a few minor tasks I'd really like to take care of today, so let's get started. First off, let's test this little drain to see if the second attempt was successful. I think that's a yes. And it's nice and dry on top of that big blob of resin, so this is a big win. I know this doesn't look very good right now, but once I've had a chance to paint the entire cabin sole, it'll look much better. And I want to thank you guys so much for all of your awesome comments on the last video I uploaded, the video where I asked you to vote on either option 1 or option 2, and most of you guys voted for option 3. So <laughs> I hadn't even thought about option number 3, so thank, thank you so much guys. And uh, of course option number three was to tie into the uh, drain from the cockpit, so let's go have a look at that. This hose is the hose from the bilge pump, and uh, I've got this T here. So what I've done is I've ordered a T or a Y or whatever you want to call it to stick onto here. Then I'll move this hose to the one side and attach this hose to the other side, and uh, I'll loop this hose from the bilge pump up here so that it's way above the waterline. My plan is to adhere this bilge pump to the bottom of the bilge using some Sikaflex. I'll drill a hole somewhere around here and lead the hose through to the bilge pump. And of course I'll add that uh, check valve a lot of you guys recommended. I don't have that today, but I've ordered it yesterday, so um, for today let's just go ahead and drill the hole for the hose. Turns out the material Albin has used for this divider of the bilge is the exact same stuff as they used in front of the uh, big blob of thickened resin, and this stuff soaks up water like a sponge, so I better make sure I seal up the edges of this hole. There were a few questions as to why I want to separate my bilge into two parts. The first two weeks I was living aboard the boat, it was raining quite a lot, and I got somewhere between 7 and 10 liters of water in the bilge, all fresh water. And uh, that water mixed with the oil that's dripping from my gearbox and um, that created quite a mess. Now discarding of all of that water was quite a pain because I didn't just want to pump it overboard in the marina because there's oil in there, right? So I had to discard of all of that water. By separating these two parts, I now have the freshwater por portion of the bilge which is pumped overboard automatically and the few drops of salt water I get and the little bit of oil that's going to be leaking no matter what will end up in this portion of the bilge without a ton of water in there, so it'll be easy for me to just wipe that away. So I hope that makes sense. And my mast is designed to have water run through it, not exit above deck level. And I don't want to use any kind of foam or something to block up the mast because that's just going to invite some other issues. So I think this, for me, is the best solution. But enough about all of that bilge stuff, let's uh, move on to something else. This is the exact kind of tape one of you guys recommended I use to seal up the uh, connection here on the VHF antenna. I think the purpose of this first layer of uh, Scotchweld 88 is uh, solely to make sure that I can remove this at a later date. I was only able to get my hands on this very wide tape, so I'm just gonna cut it in half here to make it a little bit easier to work with. Oh! It occurs to me now that I should have started from the bottom and moved up so that the uh, water couldn't seep in along these edges right here. Uh, okay, we'll give it another try. And I think the purpose of the last layer of Scotchwell 88 is to protect this stuff from the sun. This feels like it'll last a lifetime. Thank you so much to Chad Thompson for recommending that tape. Of course I have no idea if the way I applied that tape was okay, but uh, we'll see. Looks like I'll have a bit of company here in the yard. That's uh, Camilla and Sebastian, my fellow liverboards from the marina. I've used zip ties to secure the wire for the wind instrument and for the coax cable. The only thing left to do on the mast is to figure out what to do about this. And uh, I think I'll get a hold of some high quality heat shrink with glue in it and then solder these connections rather than just using these things. There is one more thing I'd love to take care of today and that's to grab some measurements for the holding tank. I know I've been going on and on about that dang holding tank for quite some time. I can't find one that really fits this area, so I'm just gonna build one myself. And the first step is to take some measurements. 
In one of my previous videos I mentioned that I'd be able to squeeze a 40 liter plastic holding tank into the area underneath the V-berth. Turns out I was mistaken. I'd forgotten to leave enough room for the fittings. I'd only have room for a 20 liter plastic tank, so that's not really a lot. Although to me it doesn't matter because I'm not going to be using the holding tank at all. But still I'd like to build something that's going to be useful for the next owner of this boat. So by building the uh, holding tank myself, I'll be able to squeeze a 38 liter holding tank into the area underneath the V-berth. I already have the fittings I'll use, so I just need to go pick up some plywood. Jökul was only supposed to stay at my parents' place for a week, and it's been two weeks now, and it's gonna be at least another week until the cutlass bearing has been replaced and the gearbox has been fixed. So yesterday I had to drive up to my parents' place and drop off some food for Jökul. The poor guy was running out of food. So it was great to hang out with my parents and it was awesome to see Jökul again, but uh, that's not all. My mom packed up some leftovers for me, so tonight I'll dine like a king. While the leftovers are reheating, I'll get busy editing this video. I'll upload this tonight, but I don't really know how it's gonna turn out. Like I mentioned, I am feeling a little bit under the weather, so uh, if this video is a little bit off, please just bear with me. I don't have any plans for tonight, so uh, I think I'll just spend the next four or five hours keeping a close eye on the comments. So if you've got any kind of questions or anything you wanna say, just go ahead and leave a comment for this video and uh, I'll uh, almost guarantee you a reply, at least within the next uh, five hours. So uh, yeah, I guess that's it for this video guys. See you! Jökul and I hope you've enjoyed this video. To be notified about new content, please click subscribe. If you're new to the channel, I suggest you check out the introduction playlist. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and feel free to leave a comment.